Hey friends, Mike here. <clears throat> it is Tuesday, December, what is it? <clears throat> I guess I should have looked before I started the film. <laughs> We've got storms coming in. It's the 13th. God, just kind of lose track of time. Just wanted to kind of give you a garden update. As you can see, the skies are getting pretty ominous. We've got some storms coming in a cold front. Right now it's about upper 60s, uh, but it's supposed to be cold tonight it's coming in tonight we're going to get some somewhat severe weather so we're just going to watch the skies and be careful but let's just take a quick look and see how things are going and i'm really excited about the uh, the grow table <clears throat> broccoli is doing really well they're happy about that and remember we dotted onions in in between the beets are doing great turnips look at those greens Definitely going to be cooking off some of those greens and we're starting to get the challenge I had in the fall is all the leaves But I'll get my Cordless leaf blower and I'll blow those out of there Carrots very very happy about the carrots. They're doing very well. We've got three or four different varieties uh, We did film and show you guys how we film how we um, how we plant those I, I have a wood jig that I use um, It's got dowels in it. I just I don't like to thin I don't want to be on my hands and knees thinning. If I can save a step, then I will. Uh, that jig works really good. You guys can go look at the past video on the carrots and see how we do that. And we use a lot of bone meal. We want that phosphorus in the soil. Snow peas, we're getting our first snow peas. This whole fence will be consumed. Love them, stir fry. Just eat them in a salad raw. They're really good. So we've been having a major issue with squirrels digging everywhere in the garden. So we've got this, Miss Rochelle put this scare tape all over and it really is working good. Rochelle's flower garden is looking great with some dill in there. We just recently thinned the arugula. It was so thick in there, but now it's really starting to take off. And what I'll do is I'll just, we'll eat it as we thin it and just drop it in a salad. Collard greens, all the other greens are doing really well. Look at this cilantro. Is that amazing or what? I still need to do some pesto or something with it, but we've been eating it fresh. Really happy about our bok choys. They're doing really well. Probably need to be harvesting these. And the celery is starting to do better with the rains. Lots of poblanos and we've been harvesting them. We'll wait until they get double that size. Lots of them, they're all over the place. Cabbages are doing good. Our acorn squash is gonna to start to climb up the fence. I've got those tomato clips that I'm gonna use. So we just planted these bunching onions about a week ago and we've got plants that are coming out of the soil. <laughs> uh, who knows what they are? It could be squash, cucumbers. I'll probably pull these out and, and just re, uh, relocate them into the garden. Check this out, guys. Look at the grow garden, or the grow table. We've got, I got a, I think I, it's too much water, but we've got lettuce coming up. Really happy about that. Baby bok choys, the purple baby bok choys. Those are really nice. I'm gonna wait a little bit until they get a little bigger. Yeah, really happy about the grow table. I reseeded the microgreens. I will see how that comes out. Storms are coming in this afternoon for us. Uh, pray for the folks in North Texas um, and Northeast Texas. They've had tornadoes touched down, some houses destroyed, people injured. So definitely are keeping you guys in our prayers. Um, and I'll come back this afternoon and we'll check out the weather. Yeah, the wind is starting to pick up and it looks like there's a squall line. The cold front is gonna be coming through probably in the next hour or so. All right, here comes the rain. So the cold front is definitely moving through. to 70. And we'll watch to see how quick the temperature drops. And just like that, it is gone. Texas weather. We didn't get hardly any bad storms or nothing, thank goodness. The folks up in North Dallas and Louisiana, be careful please. The temperature has cooled down. I think it's like 60. 
Uh, so we dropped about nine to 10 degrees. I love it. But everything's going good, guys. I just kind of wanted to give you a garden update. Uh, a lot of the fruit trees have lost their leaves. Our fig tree and our peach tree. And now we're gonna be coming uh, into pruning season. I need to prune these really good this year. Uh, goji berries are all over the landscape. Um, they're gonna go dormant, uh, but we're gonna have hopefully a good amount of goji berries next year. I'll probably just make a jam out of them or something. But hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a busy weekend coming up, a lot of baking and a lot of fun stuff. Um, we'll bring you along for the journey. I know Miss Rochelle is gonna be doing a lot of baking, so I'm excited. Hey guys, thanks for subscribing. Until next time, God bless.